Citizens Bank Park will host the Miami Marlins, 28-52, and the Philadelphia Phillies, 53-27, on Friday. Miami will start Rodri Munoz, while Christopher Sanchez takes the mound for Philadelphia. The Marlins' offense has struggled, with a team batting average of .230 and a slugging percentage of .348. They have been striking out frequently, 641 times, and drawing relatively few walks, 165. With 277 runs scored and an on-base percentage of .280, Miami ranks 29th in MLB for runs per game at just 3.5. On the mound, the Marlins have a team ERA of 4.58, placing them 26th in the league. They've allowed 404 total runs and 83 home runs, with a whip of 1.35. Miami's bullpen has been less reliable, blowing 15 of 27 save opportunities and maintaining a save rate of just 44.4%. The relief core has a 33.9% inherited runner scoring rate and ranks 26th in MLB with 34 holds. Defensively, the Marlins have a fielding percentage of 0.982, 28th in MLB, and have turned 63 double plays. Their fielding efficiency is 68.5%, ranking them 27th in the majors. Rodery Munoz, with a 1-3 career record, has a career ERA of 5.88 and a whip of 1.420 over 35 innings pitched. He has allowed 32 hits and 18 walks while striking out 34 batters. The Philadelphia Phillies, on the other hand, have been potent offensively. They hold a team batting average of .259 and an on-base percentage of .333. The Phillies have hit 96 home runs and 128 doubles, leading to 405 runs scored this season. They rank second in MLB with an average of 5.06 runs per game and have struck out 662 times. Philadelphia's pitching staff has been stellar, leading the league with a 3.07 team ERA. They've allowed only 64 home runs and hold a whip of 1.126. The pitching staff strikes out 9.00 batters per 9 innings and ranks 4th in total hits allowed. The Phillies' bullpen has a save rate of 63.6%, with 21 saves and 33 opportunities. They have a 34.2% inherited runner scoring rate and rank 15th in MLB for save percentage. Christopher Sanchez, with an 11-10 career record, has a 3.62 ERA and a whip of 1.228 over 236 innings pitched. He has struck out 214 batters while allowing 226 hits and 64 walks. Defensively, the Phillies have a fielding percentage of .985, 16th in MLB, and have turned 61 double plays. They have a defensive efficiency of 70.5%, ranking them 10th in the majors. Considering the strengths and weaknesses of both teams, the Philadelphia Phillies are favored to win this matchup. Expect Philadelphia to secure a comfortable victory, likely around 8-3, with the total run staying under 8. Oriole Park at Camden Yards will witness the Baltimore Orioles, 50-30, facing the Texas Rangers, 37-43, on Friday, with Max Scherzer and Cade Povich slated to start on the mound. The Rangers are struggling offensively, with a team batting average of .237 and a slugging percentage of .370. They have struck out 612 times while drawing 250 walks, accumulating 322 RBIs and 637 hits, including 105 doubles and 78 home runs. Their on-base percentage is .306, leading to an average of 4.2 runs per game, placing them 18th in MLB. Pitching-wise, Texas has a team ERA of 4.04, ranking 17th in the league. Their pitchers have allowed 89 home runs and 346 total runs, striking out 680 batters and walking 291. The Rangers pitching staff holds a whip of 1.28 and a FIP of 4.24. The bullpen has struggled with a save percentage of 58.3%, blowing 10 of 24 save opportunities. Defensively, the Rangers have a fielding percentage of 0.987, 6th in MLB, and have turned 71.2% of balls in play into outs, ranking 5th in the majors. Max Scherzer brings a wealth of experience with a career record of 215 to 108, a 3.14 ERA, and a whip of 1.076. Over his career, he has amassed 3,371 strikeouts in 2,839 innings, allowing 2,307 hits and 746 walks. The Baltimore Orioles, leading MLB with an average of 5.21 runs per game, boast a team batting average of .254 and an on-base percentage of .315. They have hit 132 home runs and 142 doubles, while drawing 219 walks and striking out 652 times. Their slugging percentage stands at .461, showcasing their offensive prowess. Baltimore's pitching staff has been impressive, with a team ERA of 3.39 and a whip of 1.160. They have allowed 307 runs, 271 earned, and 603 hits, while their K-slash-BB ratio is 8.50, with 679 strikeouts against 232 walks. The Orioles' bullpen has a save percentage of 64.1%, converting 25 of 39 save opportunities. Defensively, they have a fielding percentage of .987, 7th in MLB, and a defensive efficiency of 71.7%, 4th in MLB. Cade Povich, with a career ERA of 4.25, has allowed 18 hits and 10 earned runs in 21 innings, striking out 14 batters with a whip of 1.321.
Given the strengths and recent performances, the Baltimore Orioles are favored to win this matchup. Expect a final score around 5-3 in favor of Baltimore, with the total run staying under 9. American Family Field will host the matchup between the Milwaukee Brewers, 48-33, and the Chicago Cubs, 37-44, on Friday. Starting pitchers for the game are Jameson Tyon for the Cubs and Colin Rhea for the Brewers. Chicago Cubs Analysis The Cubs have struggled offensively, maintaining a team batting average of .230 and a slugging percentage of .368. They have hit 114 doubles and 76 home runs while striking out 715 times and drawing 285 walks. This has led to an average of 4.1 runs per game, ranking them 20th in MLB. They have scored 334 runs and have an on-base percentage of .312. Pitching has been slightly better for the Cubs, with a team ERA of 3.97, ranking them 14th in the league. Cubs pitchers have struck out 719 batters and allowed 90 home runs. They have conceded 360 runs, with 315 of those being earned. Their whip stands at 1.28, with a K-BB ratio of 2.75. The Cubs bullpen has struggled, converting 18 of 35 save opportunities, a 51.4% success rate. Defensively, the Cubs have turned 69.6% .6 of balls in play into outs, ranking 17th in MLB. Their fielding percentage is .984, with 44 errors and 42 double plays. Jameson Tyon brings a career record of 63-48, a 3.93 ERA, and a whip of 1.227. Over his career, he has pitched 1,009 innings, allowing 989 hits, 441 earned runs, and issuing 250 walks while striking out 903 batters. Milwaukee Brewers Analysis The Brewers have performed better offensively, with a team batting average of .255 and an on-base percentage of .332. They have hit 124 doubles and 83 home runs, scoring 391 runs with a slugging percentage of .400. The Brewers average 4.83 runs per game, ranking 6th in MLB, and have struck out 710 times. Pitching has been a strong point for Milwaukee, boasting a team ERA of 3.75, ranking them 8th in the league. Brewers pitchers have struck out 639 batters, walked 245, and allowed 91 home runs. They have given up 322 runs, 299 of them earned, with a whip of 1.247 and a K-BB ratio of 8.00. Milwaukee's bullpen has been effective, converting 29 of 37 save opportunities, a 78.4% success rate. They have stepped up in high leverage situations, with 94 such appearances and 77 with runners on base. Defensively, the Brewers have turned 71.0% of balls in play into outs, ranking 6th in MLB. They have a fielding percentage of .987, with 39 errors and 59 double plays. Colin Rhea has a career record of 20-16, a 4.49 ERA, and a whip of 1.274. Over his career, he has pitched 361 innings, allowing 339 hits, 180 earned runs, and issuing 121 walks while striking out 285 batters. Prediction. Given the Cubs' offensive struggles and Milwaukee's stronger overall performance, the Brewers are favored to win this game. Milwaukee's pitching and defense should hold the Cubs' offense in check, while the Brewers' balanced defense can take advantage of the Cubs' pitching staff. Final score prediction. Milwaukee Brewers 6, Chicago Cubs 3, total under 9.